I've just realised I'm not holding the camera bag anymore, so I've put it down somewhere and I don't remember where. It's got the GoPro in it. I'm freaking out. G'day everyone, we're going to Agfest today. Now we were all set to leave at 9 this morning, so we get there by about 10. And just as we were going to bed last night, Linda suddenly remembered that she's got a three hour dinner appointment this morning, which she can't get out of. So we're going to be a bit later than planned. But it's going to be really muddy out there, and none of us really have shoes that are suitable for mucking around in the mud. So while she's in the chair with her mouth open, Linda has set us a challenge. And that is to go to Kmart and get some shoes for ourselves for under 10 bucks. Make it so. Three dollars. Ooh, they fit you, Harry. Three bucks. Three dollars. Three bucks. Well, three and a half. Yeah, I... Ooh, look what Chloe found. Great. These are my shoes that I'm gonna get. They're just they're three dollars and fifty cents. So I got shoes for eight bucks, and both kids got a pair for three dollars fifty. So that's pretty darn cool. I'm impressed. Chloe's a white, so I mean if they get muddy, <laughs> they'll be visibly muddy, but who cares? The idea was to get something really cheap that we just don't Mine care if it black. gets dirty. Because afterlife is when you're a goat. Alright, so we're here at the dentist just waiting for Linda to come out, and then we can go. <laughs> so how's your dentist appointment? Long. Watch four episodes of Lost in Space. <laughs> That's so cool. They got that TV in the ceiling, haven't they? Yep. Yeah. The new Lost in Space on Netflix is awesome. You should definitely check it out. So yeah, she goes, "We're gonna watch," and I saw it up on the screen, and I said, "Oh, Lost in Space." Then I can talk about it with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, Google, take us to Agfest. Navigating to Agfest. with all sorts of patent. It's like the Outback town. I mean, look at the bank. Doesn't it look like a normal bank, but a bit tinty style? Those sheep yeah. are naked. Is yeah, that the a dog, sheep the dog? dog? The dog just made all those sheep go through that little, little gap. Agfest is an agricultural and machinery field day run by the non-profit Rural Youth Organisation of Tasmania. <laughs> it was first held in 1983. Just trying to find some food. Look at those adorable sheep. I'm going to relax and watch the nice one six. So this is the main street. They've got a bunch of side streets coming off with all other stuff on them. They've even got street signs. The Agfest Facebook site, click the link.
Harrison loved the Australian Defence Force Pavilion. He even got to play on a VR headset. What are you doing? <laughs> I've got these things that are free! Cool, so what is it? Drink bottle? Yep. And a ruler? Uh, yep. Cool, and mate. A fridge magnet and a bunch of tattoos. Wow. I just realised I'm not holding the camera bag anymore, so I've put it down somewhere and I don't remember where. It's got the GoPro in it. I'm freaking out. Linda found it for me. I had put it down when I was filming Harry doing the virtual reality. Oh, it's good to have that. It's a cool looking thing, isn't it? You can walk up into it. Even just cats had a stall. That's where we adopted Daisy from. Would you like to wear a Gavin shirt? No, it's not a Gavin hat. I know Gavin, I support just cats. You can play with the kittens for a $5 donation to just cats. <laughs> They're so cute! <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't! Nice hat! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, I thought those weren't real! Are uh, they real? wonderful time in the kitten cage um, in the Just Cats tent and now after that we get to go and have a hot chocolate. So we just had an unfortunate incident with a hot chocolate. Show us the result Chloe. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy that it's Good thing we bought you a pair of cheapy shoes, eh? <laughs> well, everyone's pretty tired, but we've had a really good day. So now we're just making the big long trek back to the car. If we can find it. So Eggfest is an iconically Tasmanian thing. And if you're interested in Tasmania, I've got a great playlist of all of our Tasmanian travels. Just click the card up on the top of the screen to have a look at that. Anyway, we're going to have a rest, so we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!